All right, so it is no surprise that I am a big fan of Superman, and apparently so is Kitty, who is up here to join in on the review, who is sneaking up. She does not understand why she's on the table. Recently, I was at a small comic book store. It is called Comic Book College. They are actually great. Uh, I highly recommend them if you ever visit the Twin Cities. They're in the Twin Cities. And I found these. These are 1992 vintage Doomsday the Death of Superman trading cards. That is a mouthful. Now, if you are an old person like me, uh, or you spent your time ever looking around at uh, antique stores or anything like that, you know that back in the day, everything got it's uh, everything got its tie-in trading cards, basically. The Death of Superman is no different. This was a huge event uh, that really spanned for quite a while in the comic books um, through multiple storylines, like Reign of the Superman. Uh, they had Funeral for a Friend following the Death of Superman with his battle with Doomsday, and so on and so forth. They even introduced all kinds of alternate Superman during this time and characters who tried to take over the mantle of Superman like Steel, Eradicator, and Superboy. Um, there were a lot of really interesting characters in these and so it stands to reason that this would be such a big deal. I mean, I know comic book characters have died over and over again now at this point, like to the point where it's like changing a t-shirt, but back in the day this was a huge deal that Superman died. Like we're talking it was on the news that this guy was gone on mainstream news channels back before all they were was politics. This was huge. It even later would be adapted into a video game and also a pair of movies actually from uh, the new 52-ish DC animated movie universe timeline, which by the way, these steel books, I gotta be honest, are really sick. One of my favorite things I own. So I was really, really excited to actually find these because I've never seen them in real life. You can order them online, yes, but um, What's the fun in that? So today we're gonna to be opening up a couple packs of these. Please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more content. Kitty says, make sure that you punch that subscribe button. She is really crabby at me because I already turned off her water fountain uh, for noise and now I'm messing with her. But and now let's... she can't jump off the table too. Yeah, I'll put her down. Let's hop right into it. So I have no idea what's in these. I'm actually very excited. I think I've only seen one of these cards ever. Um, and maybe I'm ruining a collector's item or something by opening it, but what's the fun in keeping randomized cards just in a pack? Oh my, these are a beast to open. Like I said, back in the day, everything had its trading cards, major comic book arcs, video games, like everything that was coming out that was worth its salt had them. So a lot of these are probably going to be panels from the comic. So here we actually have uh, him fighting Doomsday, actually starting up. And we have part of the fight with Doomsday here. This is a very odd angle that I'm not sure I'm comfortable with, but... Um, I'm comfortable with it. Doomsday again into the stratosphere where he's actually trying to take him out. This was one of the hardest fights of Superman's life. We have the air rescue where he's rescuing a bunch of people from a helicopter. Booster Gold is here as well with the Man of Steel, which is pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of these are just pictures right from the comic. One-on-one... -on -one. I don't even remember this one. And then another fight with Doomsday. So we have three more of these to open up and I will also put them all together at the end and Jill will kind of zoom over them, but we'll see what are in the next two packs. Are they all like real special and rare? I mean, they're not like really special and rare, but it's just, um, it's a really old pack that you're never gonna really see at stores anymore that mm -hmm. you either have to luck into finding or order a bunch of them online. Mm -hmm. They're kind of expensive to order. Um, the thing with these is that it's not like they're exactly the most insanely cool thing in the world because they are just the comic. But one thing that they have that's neat is on the back of them, they do have uh, like a summary of what's going on of each thing. So it looks to me like, yeah, this is different, the final round. But then some of them are gonna be obviously duplicates like this. The Gauntlet is thrown as a duplicate. Mm. This is a duplicate again, first blood. This is a duplicate again into the stratosphere, which kind of makes me wonder how many there actually are in this set because most of this one's duplicates. One-on-one. Mm -hmm. -on -one. So I think the only one that's different here is the final round. 
The rest of these, I think, were all... Duplicates? Yeah, unless the final round was in here and I missed it, which I don't... No, it wasn't. Yeah, the rest were duplicates, so the only new one we got was the final round in that. Uh-oh. But that's okay. I mean, I got these for like $2 a piece, um, and I saw them on my way out of the store, so I wasn't really expecting... Uh, greatness for it. I just thought it would be a fun thing to review for like the toy section of the channel since I, I don't think we get to enough toys. It doesn't help they're very niche and only like massive channels like Ryan's Toy Review and stuff actually get views on this kind of stuff but this is one of my favorite uh, covers. This is from Funeral for a Friend. This is Supergirl actually holding up a car and it is an homage to the original Superman cover. His first, uh, one of his first appearances where he's holding up a classic car. This one's different, laser on target. The gathering of power, that's different, so that's good. Death of a hero, so this is the classic scene with Lois over Superman's dead body, um, which really kind of shocked people at the time. Oh, were they trying to emulate that, um, that religious symbolism of Mary holding Jesus? I don't know about the religious symbolism behind it, but I wouldn't be surprised because there was a lot in the Superman works. Um, the Agony of Defeat. So this is, I believe, Guy Gardner, everyone's least favorite Green Lantern. Then we have Superman trying to get people out of here, obviously. Teamwork. Helping Hand. And it looks like this is just a checklist of... Oh, I got that sweaty. Sorry about that. <laughs> this looks like a checklist of it. So it looks like there's a total of 52. Uh, let's see. 90 plus 1, 2, 3. 90 plus um, 9 and the checklist. So there's 100 cards if you include the checklist in this list. Wow. So there's not actually that many in the list, but it's pretty cool. Kitty was howling for us to turn back on her water. So we better finish this up because somebody was not as impressed with the death of Superman, were you? But anyways, I really did like these. Um, you know, it's one of those things where I wouldn't personally recommend people go buy a box of them for 50 to to $100 or whatever it is online because unless you're really into this series and the, I guess, story of it and the art, um, that's all it is, is essentially comic panels with stuff on the back. It's cool, but there were a lot of duplicates. The second pack we opened was almost entirely the first pack. There was one card different. So... With only 100 cards in the checklist, basically, you're going to get a ton of duplicates. It's fun. I'm glad to have a couple of packs of them as a collector of superhero stuff. But, uh, I don't know. It's cool. I'm not sure if I expected more or less, but I'm happy I have them. And I guess it goes with my uh, mini Death of Superman collection, if you can call it that. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Did you enjoy this? Uh, what are your thoughts on these cards? Are there any other cards that you would want to see us cover maybe in the future? I kind of classify them under toys and entertainment. So interested to hear your thoughts on that. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. And hey, check out everything in the description down below because we have a Let's Play channel where we play and hang out with you guys and all kinds of other stuff. Have a fantastic day. And as always, stay shway. We should make kitty trading cards. We should.